Ladies and gentlemen, today we got Lookism, which is a drama action um what tune. Now let's talk about Lookism a little bit, okay? Lookism started off as a as a way to critique um looking uh why that people judge by looks. For example, uh this the main character is this fat guy that that everyone kind of hated his looks and bullied him for it, and then suddenly he beca he gets the second body, which is attractive and cool and handsome, and we get these two people who get treated completely different ways and really highlighted how society is extremely biased depending on how you look. For example, a lot of serial killers are extremely handsome, while a lot of good good people are not as handsome, and uh, and that really is, it at first highlighted that, and then what eventually happened was. They were trying to create a plot device for why the frick does he have two bodies. And then in that process, they it turned into an action manhwa. An action webtoon, where basically all that happened was they fought and fought and fought among high school boys. Now, of course, I guess if you look at each of these arcs, as you can see, each arc is named, named in one thing like that. Like, that's one arc. If you look at each arc individually, you'll find that it is the exact same format. Something ha something bad happens, and then the main character gets the beat shit out of them, and then 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 they're like, I won't give up, I will overcome that wall, and then they're fighting an impossible fucking enemy, and then he suddenly gets back up, and then yo yo he overcame the wall, let's go, and then and then we have like some one of the like the stronger characters in the show going, you'll meet an opponent who's much stronger than you. Fighters usually call that hitting a wall. Tom Lee, pre-generation, Gar Young Kim's first fist scan. You won't gain anything by giving up once you've hit a wall, but if you have the will to overcome it, you'll reach a new dimension. Tesso Ma, first generation, king of Anshan. Like, look at this. Every time there's like this little little intermission period where it's like you've inter you've kind of interviewed one of the stronger characters or older older fighters, right? And then and then, suddenly, he overcomes something, and then he suddenly beats the shit out of everyone. Does this happen once? <laughs> no, it happens in every single arc. Let's take this, this example. He's fighting him, and then, yo, what the frick? What, what's going on? He's so, so powerful, I can't see his attacks. And then, the ability to attack unseen. We call that a type of master. <laughs> It's the same exact line, bro. It's the same exact line. Look, look, right? Again, that is the stage prior to mastery. And then they go... You'll eventually be able to reach that stage, and we call that stage the path to mastery. And we call that a type of mastery. It happens every single arc, and every single fight scene, every single time. And I think, although it is very good at temporary hype building, you can't say that's a good quality story. It's kind of like fast food, right? It's not good for you, but it'll taste good at that moment. And that's exactly what Lookism has done for three, almost 400 episodes. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty insane, right? I mean, not 400, what am I saying? Yeah, like of over 400, right? So it's pretty insane. It's pretty insane how they do that and how, how it's really good. And in a commercial business type way, I say, good job. Because if what you've essentially done is create a never-ending story that has a different freaking story from a different freaking character every single arc with the exact same hype-building format that seems to work so well for the Korean audience and the international audience alike. While, you know, while this isn't exactly high-quality plot writing or story writing, it's a fan of its form of lazy writing where you, you have a template. And then you put in a different story, different story, and characters in it. But essentially, it's the same exact story again and again and again. And although I, I appreciate what they've done in the fact that they were making a lot of money, I gotta say, that isn't really my... That really isn't a good story. That's not what I would define as a good story. So, Lookism is an interesting read, and if you have some time to kill, absolutely try to get a go on it. It's a, it's a bit quirky in its own ways, and it has pretty sick battle scenes, though. And, but, but you gotta remember, you gotta remember, and you gotta have a criti critical eye when you're reading this. Is this truly a good story? Does this make sense? Is it connecting with each other like a good story would? Are there plot lines? Uh, is a plot actually a, a good plot? Like, think about that a little bit while reading it, although you might not be able to because... The hype 
is insane. Reminds me of Avengers Endgame. Please don't cancel me for that. 